Well, God, I guess you're my best friend being I invented you. You believe in God, Charles? Sure, I believe in myself. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Which one? Are you Jesus Christ? Which, which Jesus? There's all kinds of Jesuses. There's a black Jesus down in Florida. He's having a good time. There's a Mexican Jesus in Mexico. I mean, there's all kinds of Jewish Jesus. I mean, Jesus, you know. There's all kinds of Jesus coming back everywhere. And nothing can stop it. It's a consciousness that lives in your mind. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically, opposed to secret society, secret oath, and a secret procedure. We decided long ago the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. Hey, what's up, folks? It's Wix. I'm going to take you through another one of my favorite sites, standeo.com, or you can uh, go millenniumart.net. There's a lot of stuff. I'm just going to do the whole site for you because there's so much shit in here that's incredible need-to-know info. So I really wanted to show you this one. Come up here to uh, NBC Prep. And uh, actually, before I forget, let me take you to the USA one here. Because I'm sure everyone wants to know about these national speed traps. And go there, it'll give you a list of speed traps. You can add speed traps if you have a speed trap in your neighborhood or something. Come here and just put it on the map. And there's over 80,000 speed trap locations in the United States and Canada and just click on wherever your city and I want to show you where all the speed traps recently were and that kind of stuff and a lot of them you know I believe there's also a filter on here which uh, I'm not gonna look for now because yeah up here and you just uh, type in your street or whatever and it'll pop up you know all sorts of shit you know and you can say yes or no if it was speed trap speed trap area or not and all sorts of stuff you can do with that alone so there's that uh open secrets is over there i'll go through that real quick anything financial to do with politics or government you'll find right here this page alone could destroy a government it goes through politicians and elections. Uh, shows just how much money they spend and who gave them money. You know, lobbying. Folks, I don't know if you know this or not, but a lobbyist is just a, another term for a briber. That's what a lobbyist is. A briber. Okay? So it goes into the PACs, organizations, News analysis. You can even take action. Okay. So that's that. So, NBC Prep. Uh, and you, it's got a plethora of different shit on here. Top 120 cities for risk. It's a quick map. I'll just go through it for you. So, there you go. Now, now you see why I want to get a little further north than Sacramento. <laughs> All right. So that's that. Um, okay. Goes through all sorts of different shit. Uh, I wanted to show you the uh, the global disaster. I'll just go through this slow so you guys can see all the stuff on there. It's got a list of maps and stuff. You know, also, it's got everything you fucking need. Go 
go through preparedness at home, preparedness on the road, preparedness off the grid. Uh, home remedies, home survival kits, EMP protection, effects of nuclear radiation on the human body. You might want to take a look at that because you're fucking being radiated right now. Talks about fallout shelters and potassium protection. Talks about biological protection, which I highly suggest you look into. Uh, it'll pretty much just give you all the must-haves, you know. So I want to take you back here, though. Let's go to the next one, Threat Watch. I want to show you the global map here. This is where you get all the maps. Earthquakes, floodings, severe weather, avalanche, so on and so forth. Even space weather. So, I want to come down here to a global disaster map. Get one of these. <clears throat> it's pretty much just shows uh Disasters that have happened that they didn't tell you about. Uh, here, Florida is a real good one. I don't know if you, maybe you d didn't hear about this one happening on the 19th of November. Sanibel Island coastal area, state of Florida. Event, biological hazard. But, something happened. Did they tell you? Anybody in Florida have an idea? I never heard any news about it. But here's the description. Bacteria and viruses that cause only mild diseases to humans or are difficult to contract by aerosol in a lab setting, such as hepatitis A, B, C, influenza A, Lyme disease, salmonella, mumps, measles, scrapies. Uh, I don't know what dengue fever is and HIV. Routine diagnostic work with clinical specimens can be done safely at biosafety level 2 using biosafety level 2 practices and procedures. Okay, so now let me go through the facilities for you if you don't know. They have level 1, 2, 3, and 4. Some got 5. But nonetheless, the higher up you go, the more security. I, and I think level 2 is uh, in the security range of like, you know, your colleges and stuff like that. Um, they'll have bio labs and stuff. You know, they obviously have stuff in there to, you know, work on it and find out more about it. So, yes, they got biological stuff in colleges. Uh, University of Texas is a good example. Uh, since they have a, I forget what it is. But it's a, like, level 5 hazard disease, and they have it in Petri dishes in there with the security swipe card. That's a no-no. A big no-no. What the fuck are you going to do when a Galveston fucking tornado hurricane comes through there? So, but then level 3, that's when you start getting your armed guards and shit. It's supposed to be underground, a certain amount of feet armed guards, and fences. Now, that continues, and the security just increases the higher it goes. But the last level, the very last thing to do, is they got a little button that you hit. And it sends the whole place up in flames. Because that's what you do with chemicals and shit. Now, I think it's very disturbing that colleges across the country have biological fucking weapons like bubonic plague that for some reason they recreated again. Hello. So they got these biological weapons in colleges throughout the fucking country. And can you imagine what would happen if a fucking hurricane or something went through there? Or some fucking schmuck stole, you know, hacked a security card or some shit. So, anyways, back at the map. I guess... That's just crazy. Those are probably all false flag attacks that they fucking pulled. 
So let's go and check out a couple more. See we got in the Bay Area. Earthquakes. Yeah, they usually don't don't even report earthquakes out here unless they're over 4.0. Once they get over 4.0, then they're considered shakers. And maybe they'll start doing some actual reporting on it. So there's a lot of other cool shit. His wife's on here. She's got a lot of real awesome articles and stuff about about women stuff, you know. Stuff that moms that should know, you know, food issues, gardening, but also gun control, illegal, I mean, everything, you know. It covers everything on this site. Terrorism, food and water, earth changes, Israel, borders, USA, health, animals, high tech, space, faith, hope. Shit that's really out there. <laughs> Three Americans hospitalized after becoming possessed following a Ouija board game. I could buy that. I could buy that more than Obama's fucking bullshit. Mysterious light photographed on Mars by NASA rover excites UFO enthusiasts. Uh, it, was, it was probably one of us up there with a flashlight or something. Since we're already up there. So, I mean, I don't know. There's a plethora of other shit I could go through. But I got a lot of other important shit I need to do. <laughs> there you get American. These are all American made products. So you might want to check it out. Um, not only are they American made products, but I believe most of them, if not all, are grassroots, if you will. Uh, have nothing to do with the government. I mean, as far as the ones that I've been to, I can tell you that. I mean, would you rather have something that said made in America or something that said made in China? Whatever. Prep info. Uh, if, you, if you're not too much into survival, you don't really, you know, have a clue what's going on or anything, you might want to come through here. There's a plethora of shit you can go through on here. Preparedness. Uh, you know, places, shops, 72 hour prep, long term prep. Water, food storage. First aid, general supplies, around the house. Move this over. Biochemicals. It tells you how to stay safe from all of this. There's even freaking gotten on inspiration. Relocation, skill, survival. What the fuck more do you want? Okay? Get your ass over to a real damn site. Check all this stuff out. Life-saving information. I'm telling you folks. It's coming, man. It's already here. It just ain't got to your neighborhood yet. <laughs> That's it for now. God bless. Carry on.